Waiting, waiting. There we go. So you're all set. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. Actually, you see how easy it was to build your own blog, your own domain name. It only took five to 10 minutes maximum. That's pretty much it. Welcome to another episode. This is Mani Kartik here. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your own blog and that too under 10 minutes. It's actually super easy. A lot of people think that buying or making a blog is very, very difficult to process. It's not. It's as simple as buying something from amazon.com. So let me show you how it's done. So you need two things when you start a blog. One is a domain name and second is a hosting package. Don't worry, it's also very simple. A domain name basically means, you know, whatever.com, www.whatever.com. It could be your name or something else. So that is the first thing you need to buy. And for that, you need to come to godaddy.com, which is my preferred choice of buying a domain name because they have a lot of offers. It's very cheap. Out of every other website that sells domain names, I think GoDaddy has the best offers. So let's go to godaddy.com and type in a domain name and check if it's available or not. So you come here to godaddy.com and click here and type in whatever you want. So once you come and check here, it'll tell you whether this website is already taken by someone else or not. So in this case, it's already taken. So you'll have to be creative and come up with other options. So for example, if your name is Amit, then you know try something like awesomeamit.com or something like that. So whichever is available, you can pick it. Okay, so the problem is many of the common names will not be available because somebody would have already taken it. So you have to get a little bit creative about it and find out something that is available. Now GoDaddy will tell you how much it will cost you for the first year. So this one costs 849 rupees for first year. And one thing you have to keep in mind is GoDaddy will keep pushing you things that you don't need. For example, awesomeamit.net.org.info and it'll throw some kind of offers. So here it says buy three and save 68% for 1,500 rupees almost. Um, I would say skip it, don't buy unnecessary stuff, just buy what you need. And that is one thing you just have to keep in mind when buying stuff from GoDaddy. So once you've chosen this, click on continue to cart and it'll show you the payment options. So before getting into the payment options, it will also ask you a bunch of different other things. For example, here it's asking me whether I need the full domain privacy and protection. Uh, I can click on no thanks here. I wouldn't really recommend you buy this because these are things that you can get away with. You don't need to buy it because all of this is going to cost you extra money. So basically what this means is if people wants to know who's the owner of this domain name, they can look you up. Like for example, there are services called DNS lookup, etc., where they can type in any domain name and it'll tell you who's the person who registered this domain name. So if you don't want that and you want to keep, you want to be anonymous, then you have to get the domain privacy and protection. So if you want to buy it, you can go ahead and do it. It'll cost you 299 rupees per year, but I'm going to go for no thanks here because I want to keep it very, very low. Similarly, you don't need an email address. So I'm just going to click on no thanks. If you need an email address, it'll cost you 29 rupees per month. Um, that's also unnecessary at this point of time. You can buy it later if you want and then click on continue to cart and it will show you this page where you have to give in your billing information. Okay. So once everything is uh, double checked, make sure you click on checkout and buy the domain name. So that will take care of the first step. You've got the domain name. And one thing you keep in mind here, there are a lot of coupon offers and discount offers available with GoDaddy. If you go into GoDaddy directly and buy it, you will get the normal rates, normal price, which is around 2000 rupees or something. But if you want to get a discount coupon, that is also possible. It will ask you whether you have a promo code. So if you have a promo code, just type in that promo code there. So I currently have used one already, which is why I'm getting this discounted price. Otherwise, it's more. So if you need a discount code, just uh, let me know. Uh, email me at hi at moneykartik.com or just uh, DM me on Insta or send me an email or something and I can send you the discount code. Once you've bought your domain name, what you need is a hosting package. Now, hosting package is something that uh, you use for storing your files, your images and things like that. That's where you store your website and the domain name is kind of your address to your website. So whenever somebody types in the domain name on the browser, it will point that domain name to the place where you hosted or saved all your files, images, etc. So that's where the blog exists really. So that's called a hosting company. Now the hosting company that I really like and I've used a lot in my previous uh, last 15 years of experience is called SiteGround. This is a very reliable web host and also very cheap. 
It will give you a hosting starter package for $6.99 per month and it's actually $15.99 per month but this is a discount package. So if you want the discount just let me know and it will get you one website, 10 GB of web space, 10,000 visits monthly, unmetered traffic, free SSL, daily backup, free CDN, free email, managed WordPress, unlimited database, 100% renewable energy match. I don't know what that means but everything else is a good package. So this is probably the best and the cheapest package out there for starting a blog. So let's just go ahead and click on get plan and it will ask you whether you have a domain name or not. So you can register a domain name from SiteGround but it will cost you $15.95 per year. So this is why I chose to buy the domain name from GoDaddy. So in this case I'm going to select I already have a domain name and type in my name here. So this is the domain name I already bought moneykarthik.com then it'll ask me for some of these information like email address etc so I'm just going to fill it in you might see this blurred on the video you can also set in your payment information that could be your credit card I don't think they have the UPI and other payment options so you'll have to give a MasterCard or a Visa credit card here so here you have to choose how much you need to pay so I've chosen the startup plan and the period I've chosen is 12 months which appears to be the best deal because you essentially will be paying only $6.99 per month. Ideally you should need it for one year typically because otherwise it's not that great. So what I recommend is you can either buy it for 12 months or more than that 24 months or 36 months. You can also get it for one month which will cost you $90.99 so that is also possible if you just want to try it out for one month you can do that as well. Okay, so once the payment is done, you will get a confirmation and you will be able to go to the main account area. So this is where it is. Now what you need to do is click on set up site. So if you already have a website, they will do a free migration, which is seen here on the right hand side. But if you're starting new, all you need to do is click on select and select what platform or what uh, software you're trying to install. So in a blogger's case, it's going to be WordPress. So I selected WordPress. So I gave uh, an email address and a password and I'm going to hit uh, continue. They'll ask you whether you need the SG site scanner but that's basically a monitoring service that tells or it checks your website daily uh, and tells you if your website has been hacked or injected with malicious code. So basically it's a security add-on sort of just like how you will when you, when you buy iPhone they'll ask you whether you need additional protection that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're like a business or something and you have a lot of money. So let's just skip that and click on finish and it says creating your website. Please wait. It takes less than two minutes to complete the website creation. Waiting, waiting. There we go. So you're all set. You have everything ready here. It says your website with the domain moneykarthik.com has been created. Check out our tips how to proceed to manage your website. So over here there is one more step that you have to do which is you have to go to GoDaddy and log into your account come to manage domains and choose the domain name you just purchased so in this case it is moneykarthik.com click on it and then click on manage dns this one over here so you'll find a name servers section here click on change currently the name servers are pointed to godaddy's default servers which is why if you choose or if you load up moneykarthik.com then it will tell or go to godaddy itself that's what's happening now so we need to change this and make it go to our hosting package at uh, SiteGround. Click on change and click on enter my own name servers and copy paste the name servers from your hosting. So here this is the one there are two name servers which you need to copy paste. There we go and click on save. Perfect. So that's it. It will take uh, almost one hour to do this it's called DNS propagation basically what that means is it'll take one hour before your website actually loads the new website but you can actually manage your website right now you don't have to worry about whether it's showing up on moneykarthik.com because here if you click on manage site and it will show you this page so as you can see it's not ready yet so you just have to wait for one more hour until this is available and once it is there you can do everything that you want on your website. Okay guys so that's pretty much it actually you see how easy it was to build your own blog your own domain name it only took five to ten minutes maximum that's pretty much it anyone who is not tech savvy who is just a homemaker or somebody who is doing any other business 
can do this and create your own website very, very easily. It's just as easy as buying something on amazon.com. A lot of people think that it's very difficult to buy your own website, buy your own domain name or make your own website because people think you need some technical knowledge. No, you don't need it. Buying a domain name as well as buying a hosting package only takes a few minutes and once that is done you can customize your website the way you want it it's very very easy just as easy as drag and drop now in the coming up videos i'll show you how you can customize your website and do advanced things and everything and that's depending on how much you want on your website like how do you want the website to look at and all that stuff getting started with blogging is super easy and a lot of people ask me why do you have to pay this much money for blogging why don't you start a free blogger.com or a blogspot.com blog or a wordpress.com blog it's, isn't it easier that way because you don't have to pay anything see let me ask you this when you search something on google how many times do you see a wordpress.com blog or a blogger or a blogspot.com blog show up on the search results on the first page never right and that's because google knows that whatever blogs are there on wordpress.com or blogspot.com are kind of amateurish and the kind of content over there is amateurish it's not the best out there so in order to have that kind of authority to show up on the first page of google you need to have a proper website if you have an amateurish looking free website google and other search engines won't actually push you or show you in the first page of google so that's the biggest problem so if you're serious about blogging i would highly recommend that you start your own blog your own domain name in a proper place and SiteGround, like i showed you is the best place to get started with it you can get started for 6.99 per month and the domain name can be only around 850 rupees per month uh, per year that is so it's it's as cheap as that it's almost as buying a biryani <laughs> that's all it takes so if you have any questions with this let me know in the comment section or just hit me up on insta or twitter or wherever you want to or just send me an email at hi at moneykarthik.com and i'm happy to help you out with this but this is the video for today i just wanted to tell you how easy is it i just wanted to show how easy is it to get started with blogging i hope you liked the video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet this is money karthik signing off